The nations of the Pacific are on the front line of climate change. Scattered across the largest ocean in the world, these fragile, culturally diverse island states are united by common threats to their climate. Rising sea levels, changing rainfall patterns, increasingly intense tropical cyclones, and warming and acidification of coastal waters. The Pacific Adaptation to Climate Change Project has assessed the vulnerability of 14 Pacific Island nations and has begun responding to these needs. Its goal is to increase their resilience to climate change by developing adaptation techniques for three key areas. Water, food, and the coastal zone. Sustained sources of food not only ensure adequate nutrition, they help drive a robust economy, both locally and by way of international trade. But many traditional Pacific crops, such as taro and cassava, are threatened by changing rainfall patterns and by the intrusion of salt water into once fertile land. For people who live a subsistence lifestyle, as do many families in the Pacific, the failure of crops like these is catastrophic. And in places where agricultural production is above subsistence level, the earnings often go towards buying clothing, schooling children, and obtaining supplementary foods that ensure a varied diet. PAC pilot sites are tackling food security with a view to developing climate change tolerant food crops and enhancing food preservation. In Nosori, Fiji, increase in rainfall and flooding is a major problem. Now PAC is addressing the drainage problem by dredging the creeks off the low-lying agricultural land and also developing varieties of taro and cassava that are tolerant to waterlogging. The construction of dikes in Palau is intended to limit saltwater intrusion caused by rising sea levels. In Papua New Guinea, drought-tolerant varieties of taro and other crop species are being made readily available through seed distribution. An integrated approach in the Solomon Islands aims to promote permaculture practices in the low-lying areas, raising plant beds, mangrove replanting, and soil improvements. To complement work on the ground, PAC is also working to integrate climate change adaptation techniques into policy at the level of both local and national governments in order that sustainable development become an intrinsic part of future decision making for the Pacific. Beyond this, PAC is translating its learning into a knowledge base that can be utilized by people who are faced with similar climate challenges worldwide. The impact of climate change affects the poorest people in the poorest nations sooner and more profoundly, exacerbating any pre-existing economic and political stresses they may already feel. But climate change presents both a challenge and an opportunity. Green, low emission, climate change resilient strategies can reduce poverty and grow the local economy over the long run. The PAC project is a great start. We need to do more. PAC is working to help communities adapt to climate change with pilot sites in 14 Pacific Island nations. Supported by the United Nations Development Programme with funding from the Global Environment Facilities Special Climate Change Fund and additional funding from the Government of Australia. PAC is executed by the Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environment Programme and supported by the United Nations Institute for Training and Research, Climate Change Capacity Development Programme, exploring adaptation methods in three key areas, 
PAC is building resilience to climate change.